Thank you, sir. I would now like to invite Mr. Samindra Ganguly, Chief Product Officer and Head of Tech Strategy at CAMS and Hari Prasad from the Product Management Group. They will demonstrate CAMS Pinserve's account aggregator solution for a variety of use cases. Thanks, Dan. Uh, a very warm welcome uh, to all of you. Uh, thanks for coming. And before we start with the session on some of the use cases that we believe the account aggregator ecosystem can provide uh, for capital markets, uh, I would maybe take from what Mr. Deander said that. As a entity and as an organization, today will we be capable of visualizing what all can be done with this data? Maybe not. So this presentation is just put together to kind of give indicative use cases on what can happen. But yeah, it will be for the entire country to envision what can happen on this platform because the data will be available for everyone and everyone can make use of it. And before I start uh, this presentation, another thing that Hiranga uh, said when he came in, and I found it uh, a funny use case, is that he mentioned that tomorrow it can so happen that you are walking into a, into a car showroom to buy a Volvo or a Mercedes, right? And the person, the sales guy who is talking to you can ask you for a couple of clicks and your PAN number. And they just, uh, you know, not even entertain you in their sales show because you will not have the asset date because they will have access to that. And you know, that person may know that you don't have the money to buy this car. So that hopefully that doesn't become the use case. But I don't think this means. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it could even become that. Okay, so so we have put together a couple of slides and. Uh, that, that's the short agenda of this session, what are the potential use cases. So one of the key things that is currently live on the account aggregate ecosystem is banks. And what banks are giving is actually the entire bank data of the investor basis consent uh, of entire history. And this is at a transaction level. So. One product of ours, which is the bank statement analyzer, what it will do for, for you is it will basically take that data and divide it into meaningful information, which is basically, you know, it will take all the different bank statements, summarize it, and give you information about what are the uh, total income that you have, what are the total expenditures that you have, and it will categorize it into what is discretionary, what is not discretionary, and will help you, you know, define what money you have surplus, which you can then use to advise on how to optimize or make optimum use of that surplus money. Uh, it can give you advice or PFMs can give you advice on the spending patterns that you have, whether they are regular, irregular, whether you are an impulse buyer, it can basically create a persona of a user. It can say that whether this guy is an impulse buyer. Whether, so we have a lot of us get, you know, uh, get overdraft limits. And those overdraft limits may not be absolutely useful to us because many of us may not ever have taken a loan or may not have ever taken an overdraft facility. So this can actually create a persona of a user and can tell the PFM that what is the financial product to advise on and whether and what is the likelihood that this user is going to avail of those facilities. It can also give you uh, information about the credit to debit ratios and whether what is the average spending pattern and all of that and active monitoring of the statements to see what are the EMIs that are coming up and around that it can even flag up what are the potential negative events that can happen on your account? Which means that if an EMI is coming, it can flag up that whether you have enough money in your account to honor that EMI and whether uh, you know whether you should meet or whether you should do some action to make sure that you don't incur any charges. All of this can, is possible through the bank statement analyzer that uh, uh, 
Twindu, which is the P, uh, TSP product, has built on top of the account aggregator information that is received and thus can be used by the FIUs. Of how these use cases and how these flows are, so we'll just quickly take you through that. So this is uh, this is the first one, which is the bank statement analyzer. So basically, what's happening is uh, the user is both is on your platform, on your app. The user has given you consent on this bank on fetching the bank statement, and then once the bank statement is has come back. We can create a view like this of the user's entire asset base, right? So, what is the monthly average balance? What are the total investments that the user has? Liabilities in, from the bank statement, uh, the average EMI amount, the commitments, the discretionary and the non-discretionary spends, and then categorizing it further into what are the different kinds of spends the user has done. Which all of this could be, as I said, used to make sure that you know. You are giving them in time, real time advisory on what to do and just in time advisory on what to do and what are the kind of events that uh, or what are the kind of actions that the user can take to optimize their money. Yeah, so this is, this, this is how the CASA analysis can happen which is it can show that in the last 3 months or 6 months or 12 months what is the debit to credit ratio. Again this is useful for the PFM to figure out what is the debit to credit ratio that the investor maintains and this is that you can give advice on what is the loan and how much loan you can give this investor. Average EOD balances, you come back, come down. Uh, different bank accounts, what are the total amount credited, debited and all of that. And you can do further analysis on what are the debit and credit transaction counts, what are the debit and credit amounts, usual amounts and all of this bifurcation is available today and it can significantly be enriched but whatever are the use cases that the industry sees but today we have this as a working model which can be deployed and can be used as is today for you to give advice.